What is poppin' people? Welcome back to The Funk. I am your host, Miss Funkadelic. For today's episode, I'd like to share with you how I make my incense. The incense that I make are very different from your usual incense on a stick. A lot of those incense that are on the stick, they burn out really, really fast. And I find that once they burn out, so does the scent. So I wanted to share with you guys today how I create my own incense. Okay, so I, anytime I make my incense, I usually make them with intention and with purpose. I like to make sure that my incense are for different purposes. Like I have some that are made for focusing. I have some that I feel make me more calm or make me feel uh, more ready for my meditations or whatnot. But the one that I'm gonna show for you guys today is going to be a calm focus blend that I like to make. I usually like to make this blend whenever I am having a hard time focusing and also staying calm. I know a lot of us deal with anxiety and we deal with a lot of issues surrounding staying calm and focused but also being creative and having to stay on top and honestly guys it is so stressful and whatever tools that you can use that doesn't hurt anybody else um, that can help you cope with those any tool that you can find find it let's get started obviously not like drugs or alcohol you know then that's how you, you go find yourself going to a downward spiral okay okay so there's several items that I want to use for today's blend the first item that I want to use is going to be the e coal plant-based coals that you can buy these on Amazon for like $11 for the entire box and it's like a box of 12. The second thing that I want to use are is this really cute like coal burner. It is so adorable. I love this coal burner. It's one of my favorites like parts of this whole thing. It just makes me feel very like grounded. It's like it's gold. It's pretty. It's really nice. It makes me feel extra spiritual and stuff. I bought this at the Green Men store in North Hollywood. Um, when you buy your coal burners, they will come with like a little like wooden coaster so that you can set it on your surface. So when you heat up your coal, what's going to happen is the entire thing is going to get really, really hot and it will burn your surface. So make sure that you always have it on your coaster. Okay. The second item that I'm going to use is actually a candle holder that I bought from the dollar store. It's a little dirty because I usually, I use this all the time. Um, and yeah, so I use this candle holder. I got it from the 99 cent only store. You can find whatever type of candle holder or container that you like. Always guys, fill it up halfway with salt or sand because if you don't it's going to overheat the glass and it will crack and explode so you don't want that to happen so fill it halfway with salt or sand before you put any coals or anything hot in there but the next thing I like to use is a bag of rosemary I also bought this from the green man store in North Hollywood um, yeah their rosemary is just not like the stuff that you find at the grocery store I feel like a lot of grocery stores sell rosemary and it's just very like dull um, unless you're buying like you know name brand or whatever but uh, yeah big ass bag of rosemary for five dollars rosemary is very good for helping you to focus it's supposed to be uh, for keeping your brain uh, alert they also say rosemary can help you find missing items that the fairies have put away so Burn some rosemary, you might find those keys. <laughs> That's actually happened to me once, so I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. So the second item that I'm going to use is going to be benzoin. So benzoin, or sometimes they call it Grace Styrax. Um, benzoin is a tree sap and it looks very powdery. It's kind of purple, but when you take it out of the bag, they're like these nuggets you can see them they're like these little rock nugget type things and um, and yeah and it's basically it's just tree sap 
and it comes from a particular tree. I forget the tree that it comes from. Its symbolism is attraction. So I usually like to burn this one if I need, uh, if I feel the need for certain things to come to me, um, or if I feel the need to make myself more attractive for an interview or something, sometimes I'll just burn it. And really it's all about the faith. This whole bag was $15 at the Green Men store as well. The third item that I'm going to use is going to be the lavender. Okay, so I love lavender. This whole bag was $7 at the Green Man store. Um, they fill it up. I love lavender. Like this stuff, it's oh, it just smells so good. I particularly like it to keep me calm. I don't I live with anxiety and I really, really feel as though if my anxiety is guided to uh, creative energy, then I will be able to harness it, right? So I wanna stay calm. The fourth item that I'm going to be showing to you guys is going to be the lemon eucalyptus oil. Now, this stuff is really, really good. Um, what is this brand? I got this from Healing Solutions. I bought this on Amazon and it is very potent. It's really good. Um, a lot of times I buy essential oils and I feel as though lemon eucalyptus is really good for uh, if you have like a mosquito problem or if you just need to like have like this happy vibe, this sun type of vibe. It's very good for clearing out all types of negative energy. It's just a great scent. They just smell like a candy store. First thing we want to do is make sure that we have our coaster, our coal burner, and an area to set our coal right when it's done heating up, okay? So I'm gonna take these coals out of the pack, set it on the coal burner, coal burner on the coaster. And if any of you hookah smokers or uh, any of you incense makers out there know what I'm talking about when it comes down to coals that don't burn fast enough. This one actually burned right on time today, so I'm very happy about this. Wow, look at that. Okay. So make sure, guys, that you are in a well-ventilated area because it does release a smell. And anything besides oxygen that you're breathing in is bad for you. <laughs> My arts and craft table. This is actually a bar stool, guys. I've been using a bar stool this entire time. Uh, but yeah, it's my arts and craft table now. <laughs> all right, now that all of that... Okay, so the sparks have gone out. You can wave your hand above it and you can just feel the heat emanating from that. Now we're gonna wait until this coal gets a little gray around the rim. And let's get started on our incense. All right, guys, while that is waiting to heat up, Let's get started on the incense. So, lots of times when people make incense, they usually use a mortar and pestle. But for this case, honestly guys, we are in the future. So I used a ceramic bowl and a muddle. So this muddle, is, you can find these at, a, at like Target or anything. Um, I got this one on Amazon as well. And yeah, they basically, they use these for uh, mixed drinks and cocktails and things like that, but for me, I use it for incense. I'm gonna take my lavender, and I believe in not dumping it out. I like to just grab it so you can get my energy and intent in there, and just about three fingers worth of lavender. I would say this is about a tablespoon of lavender, maybe, a ta maybe two tablespoons of lavender, okay? Two tablespoons of lavender let's say that rosemary guys is very very strong scent you have to be kind of careful with using it otherwise you will overwhelm your household with it so I'm just gonna take about a tape a half a tablespoon of rosemary and pinch it in there okay so you can see it's not too much of either one the next item I'm going to be using is our benzoin okay so I'm gonna take a couple of these rocks and you know, some of the powder is down there, but we can use the, the powder later. So I'm gonna take about three, no, 
This tree resin, or tree resins in general, help provide scent and strong fragrance to your incense and your blends when you're making them. So I'm using about one, two, three, four like pebbles of these. Okay. Alright guys, and we're almost done, and now I am going to use my lemon eucalyptus oil. Is that a couple of things? What? Don't go crazy with your oils guys, only put about one or two drops, because these oils are very strong. If you're buying a good one, the oil is very, very strong, and it will overwhelm in all the other scents. We already have some strong scents in here. We have benzoin, rosemary, and lavender. We don't need to go too crazy. Remember, the goal is to stay calm. So I'm just gonna take my muddle and take the, the really rough side, and let's just break down the benzoin. They're like little rocks, but they crush pretty easily. Right? So just twist it a little bit. I think there's actually a restaurant called Muddle and Twist. I've never actually eaten there, but yeah. <laughs> We're gonna stir it up a little bit so that that oil gets around in there evenly. And we're, and we're thinking positively while we're doing this, guys. We want to attract that good energy as well. Okay, so now we have it. We have it, it's down to like a nice fine grind. We have the oil all over each of these. You can see that the oil is like all over every bit of herb that's in here. And it's really nice, it smells so good already, guys. All right, guys, we're almost ready, so. Here we go. Now we see the coal is piping hot already. That means the metal is our, it's just as hot as that coal right now. I'm gonna take these scissors, or you can use tongs, but I'm gonna take scissors and grab and set it down now in the name of positivity <laughs> and calmness and getting your shit together. Mm. Oh, that smells so good. It's like a nice balance. Oh, wow. That's all for today, folks. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this blend helps contribute to your success. Peace and love be with you guys. See you next week.